Now before I get going here in today's video, yesterday when I was demonstrating these things I was saying how bright the light was and I turned it on and I shined it at the camera and when I was editing out I could hardly see that the light was on. I thought, well that's, that's kind of silly. So let, let me just show you here. The reason, the reason it was you couldn't see the light is because the overhead lights are so incredibly bright. It's half the, half the brightness of daylight. Anyway, let's just put this on here. And, and I'll uh, turn the overhead lights out. Okay. Now. It, it works pretty good. So as, as you can see, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's quite bright. <laughs> Yeah, all right. I wasn't lying. I have given it a second coat now. And uh, areas like here where, you, where I could sort of see the plastic down through the paint, or at least I thought I could, I'm not seeing that now. I didn't completely spray everything. I only did the areas that I thought I could see it and I wasn't sure I mean something like this it's it's really obvious but uh, uh, the rest looks pretty good now some of the viewers drew to my attention the fact that I I shouldn't need to paint the inside of the splinter walls uh, a, a different color because in all likelihood for most of the well now I'm sort of uh, 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 you know putting words between the lines here but in all likelihood for, for a lot of the life of the hood, the inside of the splinter walls was the same color as the deck. Uh, one of the viewers mentioned that for a while they had a type of linoleum. I forgot the name of the, the real name of it, but anyway, I'll, I'll put it in the subtitles below. And, uh, and, and, the, and the deck was a, a, a sort of a brown color. However, uh, oh, I'm noticing over here it looks a little bit faint, but uh, you know, I mean, if it's if it's that slight, by the time we get all the detail on here, I mean, there's going to be more superstructure going here and here and here. Then there's going to be a myriad of little things, lifeboats, and all kinds of stuff is going to be on this deck, which uh, uh, somebody told me is called the shelter deck. Uh, yeah, so uh, it seems to me I had read that about. Uh, a year ago that this was called the shelter deck but I've forgotten that anyway so this is the shelter deck and it makes sense because under along the edges here you are sort of sheltered from the rain anyway uh, let's let's move up here to the other end you remember there was that uh, that one box that I was kind of concerned about the fact that the tape wasn't as as you know close to the uh, uh, to the edge of the base of the box as it should be. Um, I'm sort of getting tongue-tied here. Let's just push pause. Now I have a real bad habit of making a mountain out of a molehill. Now this piece of tape that I'm touching right now is not up against the edge of this box right here. There's a gap right here where the, where the uh, blade is touching. Now I was saying yesterday that I think that the uh, there's another piece of tape underneath there but when I looked at it later a little bit more closely I came to the conclusion that perhaps whoops this blade is so incredibly sharp I gotta be careful not to cut my tape but I was thinking that maybe I should be using something else here there we go. Now, where's my tweezers? Okay, I was not prepared here. It took me a moment to find him. Okay, now is there something underneath there? Or is it? Or am I going to be going right down onto the deck? No, I'm going right down onto the deck. All right. Now, maybe what I should do is take this one off and put a new one on. 
Yeah, I could, I could probably just leave this folded back almost. Although, uh, cut another piece of tape and put it up against the edge of the base. It's a good thing I can cut out all the dead spots in this video, otherwise a two minute segment will end up lasting ten minutes. Okay, now once again, what's that fluffy on there? Yeah. Go right up against the very edge there. It's come down at a bit of an angle, kind of work it in. I'm um, sorry I'm getting my big unkempt fingers in your way there. Okay, now that I think is better. Okay, I'm just going to get a little bit of uh, the uh, Tamiya deck tan and just put it along the edge there. And let it run in. Yeah, hopefully I didn't scratch the deck up too badly. Okay, about five minutes has passed here now. We're just going to stop that on. Now I do believe that when that dries, we are going to get the definition of the base of the box back. Now we don't need to worry about painting the inside of the splinter shields because it's okay if they're the same color as the deck is. However, the outside, like where I'm touching right now, that's going to have to be the same color as the deck with the top part of the uh, hull was. And we'll be using this one right here. Um, yeah, sort of thinking out loud here and not getting anywhere. Okay, I remember now what it is I wanted to talk about. Uh, I once again do not want to be painting myself into a corner which I seem to do a lot lately. And what order should I be doing this? And I'm thinking now that maybe this on the that goes along the outside here should be the last thing I do once I've had a chance to completely mask everything over so that I can spray the sides, unless I was to brush it on, but I think I'll, sp I'll spray it, just mask everything over. Now, we've, we've got to get these these pieces here all painted the same color and uh, some somebody was uh, a little bit confused yesterday because they're wondering why it was that I was painting these the same color as uh, or no why was it that I did not paint these the same color as this as long as I was spraying anyway and the reason being is I was going to use a slightly lighter gray uh, because I wanted these ones here well, not this one, but these ones here to all stand out a little bit against this dark gray, which is almost a charcoal the way I'm looking at it. Um, so I do believe that all of these boxes should be the exact same gray. Um, so, so maybe that's the next next step. Mask everything off here now and paint paint these hatches. So that means I'm going to have to mask off this this deck here the same way as I've done here. Um, at least I think that's the way to go. Maybe, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and the, and uh, and this this is all going to have to be masked off. Otherwise, when I'm spraying these, I'm going to be getting the light gray onto this darker gray. Uh, this is sounding so complicated, and I don't know why. Okay, maybe this is not going to be as hard as I think it is. Maybe I'm once again making a mountain out of a molehill. You know, all I have to do is just mask these little boxes off. And there's only, what, five of them? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's only five that I have to mask off in this area, as near as I can see. I, I think that all of this other stuff 
has pieces put on top of it. Um, maybe I better check. It could be that this... I better check. But I think that all of these parts here have superstructure or something mounted on top. I know that the, 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 these ones here are, you know, it's a base with the, uh, a, a turret, I believe. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, this is not going to be as hard as I think, because then what I can do is, after I get these messed up, I can just put big strips along to cover this up, then we'll spray, every, spray all of these, the light gray. Uh, talk is cheap, isn't it? Okay, I'm hoping you can see my mouse here. And the two pieces that I was worried about, do I have to tape them up or leave them, you know, not need to worry about them, is this one right here and this one right here. Now, I've already sort of done this, and, um, and I could not find what is supposed to go on there. Now, let's just sort of see if this is going to work. Okay, we're on the next step. Here they are, here and here, just off to the right. They're still there. They're not covered. Um, here they are, here. The, the, the ship is now twisted around the other way. The, uh, the bow is now out this way. And here they are again. They're still not covered. Still not covered. Still not covered. Still not covered. Okay, now the bow is the other way. And we are, I believe this piece right here, way back here, is uh, the piece in question. And I don't see anything on it yet. It's way over here. Okay, now the shelter deck is right here. Uh, let's, let's go over here onto this side here. I, I, I can just hear the mouse is clicking the stop button on my videos right now because this has got to be as boring as can be here. I can't even see it on here. Where, where, where are we? Am I lost? Okay, it should be way back here somewhere. There is just so much stuff that has to go on. Well, that's the stern. Won't find it there. Okay, here we are in the bow again. Um, it would be back here somewhere. Stern. Okay, maybe we'll see it on here. Um, is this it right here? I think this might be the area right here. Is, or is it back here somewhere? Or is there a, another piece that's going to go over top of everything? I No, I don't think so. Well, I'm... I don't think I need to worry... I don't think I need to worry about taping them over. I'm, I'm almost sure that it's going to get covered up with something. There is, <laughs> as I said in an earlier video, there is just so much stuff that we have to put on. Uh, I'm not saying it's depressing, but it's kind of scary. <laughs> I think we'll get there. We got a long ways to go here. There's more stuff going down. Well, that'll be the lifeboats, of course. Some of these stuff, it looks like some of these steps, it looks like there's a lot going down, but it's uh, stuff that's already been assembled. I believe we're getting near the end here. Railings. Oh boy. Yeah, that's the end. Okay, 78 is the last step. All right, let's. Uh, Let's get back with our taping here.
right, let's try not to block your vision here. Why can't I get this one? Uh, I think that's pretty good. Now you're going to notice on the top of almost all of these boxes, there's there's detail, like there's a hinge here and here, and then there's a three little handles there. Somebody was asking me if I was planning on painting these details. And I've thought about it, but I'm afraid that my dexterity is just not that I can minutely paint the top of this and not have it run down onto the lid. Oops. I can bring the edge of the tape up against the side and drop it like that, I think. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, that one went good. By the time I get to the last box, I'll be pretty good at this. Oh, pride comes before a fall, so I better shut up here. All right, just two more over here on the other side. And this is the last one. Okay, now what we have to do is uh, mask everything except that all of these boxes. And uh, then spray it with a lighter gray. I'm pretty sure that's the best way to go here. Now I was going to go ahead and use the white tape to do the rest of this and then I realized that we've got two little hatches here that I should actually go around like I did here and uh, because they should also be the lighter gray not the darker gray as they are. I'm just going to go ahead and do it 
we already did this to death. Okay, we have got them taped around. Um, but you know, we've completely run out of time here this afternoon. I just can't do any more here. Um, so we're going to have to continue on tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's about all I can say. So thanks for watching. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.